Hello Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to the month of October. I hope you guys are doing well thus far. Please keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. Um, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is fairly timeless. This does not have to resonate for you for the month of October necessarily. This can resonate for you at any moment. So whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that time. Yeah. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. And if you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where you will find a list of the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested. And I will be very, very happy to get you all hooked up. All right, Pisces, we're going to give this one last shuffle for you. Um, I am seeing yellow energy for you right now. Um, and in, in this yellow energy, um, that takes me or makes me think of the solar plexus, your willpower, your drive, your action oriented, maybe even goal orientation. Um, there's a feeling here of, I, I feel like, I feel like some of you are gearing up for something, channeling the energy to make something happen, take some sort of action make something work is what I'm hearing. I feel like you're building, working on building up your self-confidence also. Um, uh, for some of you, I'm hearing there's some sort of, you're recovering from some sort of challenging situation. It, there's a feeling of like, I'm kind of seeing nine of wands in my head for you. This is the type of energy that I'm feeling for some of you. I feel like you've, I just heard made your way to the surface. Um, you've been fighting for something fighting towards something you may have been fighting to dig yourself out of some sort of hole whether that be mentally maybe emotionally maybe even financially um you're i i did hear you've reached the surface so i feel like a lot of the really hard work is done in terms of pulling yourself out of something this could very well be an emotional situation um, but I'm also kind of seeing nine of wands energy for you because the feeling here that I'm getting is that while you have reached the surface, you know, you're finally getting out of some sort of hole or maybe even some sort of stagnant energy, there's still more to do. It, it's not like, it's not like, you know, you're done here. I feel like you're, you, now that you've gotten out of this hole, now the effort or your effort or energy is being put towards moving forward from here. This does feel like you have sufficiently handled and or dealt with and or come out of some sort of strong emotional <laughs> emotional turmoil, okay? And now, uh, for some of you, I did just heard here, the fight is over and now it's time to survive. Interesting, take that as it resonates. All right, let's get into this. What do we got going on for Pisces at this time? What messages do we have for Pisces, please? Okay, interesting, because I was also seeing this card in my head too. I just didn't mention it, but the first card you have here is the Nine of Pentacles. All right, so um, independence, sovereignty, uh, feeling strong and or secure or working on building towards these energies of feeling strong and secure. For some of you, you may not necessarily feel it fully right now. You may be working on building that self-confidence, building that independence, but it does feel like on, at some energetic level, you have a level of this independence and sovereignty going for you right now, even if it's just energetically, okay? And then the more you cultivate that, the more you channel that, the more you work on that, the stronger it will get and the easier it will be to embody. This could also represent um, working on becoming financially stable in some way, okay? Building your finances. I do feel like for some of you here, the feeling or the, the goal is to be financially stable, financially abundant, you know, having, be, or ha being in a position to receive rewards for job, a job well done. Um, it does feel like this for the most part, it feels like this is your goal here. Okay. And you really may be planning for the future, you know, in terms of how you're going to manifest this into your life. What else is going on for Pisces? What do we got for Pisces? Please. 
The Five of Swords, which is reversed. Yep. Okay. Oh. Interesting. All right. Most of the deck was reversed here. Um, so I'm going to take these last two cards that are reversed, but I'm going to leave the, up, the deck fully upright because the deck was upside down, right? Yes. Okay. Um, so you have the, the Nine of Pentacles here, the Five of Swords reversed, but then also the Queen of Pentacles reversed. So we could definitely be talking about some sort of romantic connection or some sort of connection that you have with individuals, even if it's platonic, it may also be family. Um, but you have this, the Nine of Pentacles, the Five of Swords reversed, the Queen of Pentacles reversed, and then overall energy is the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups to the Six of Swords. All right. Um, also the Seven of Cups here, but that does kind of make sense. Um, so what I'm getting with this, you guys, is that this is a situation in which um, you are you are no longer wanting to be a provider um, maybe be a support system for somebody. I do feel like I'm speaking to someone who is um, either a woman or just embodies more of a feminine energy or maybe in this specific situation has been embodying an, um, uh, a feminine energy or playing somewhat of the feminine role here. Um, but it doesn't have to be that way. Again, take it as it resonates. But this Queen of Pentacles here really really feels like um, energies of self-worth, abundance, knowing your, knowing your wealth, knowing your worth, knowing what it is that you provide in a situation. And I do kind of get, you know, also with the Four of Cups here, I get that there is an energy of not wanting to, either not wanting to um, be in this provider role any longer or not being able to, okay? Hold on, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, um, so, to be honest with you, Pisces, I kind of want to pull, keep this Queen of Pentacles upright. Um, again, like I said, the deck, the whole deck was reversed when I was pulling, so it was upside down, so okay, so all right. Um, but, and, and, but the Five of Swords feels appropriate in being reversed. And the Queen of Pentacles kind of feels appropriate being reversed as well. However, um, this does feel like you ha it has to do with self-worth. And the main thing that I was feeling with the Queen of Pentacles reverse here is that whomever this Queen of Pentacles is, whether it's you or someone you're connected to, they're no longer wanting to be a part of the situation. But I also kind of feel like they can't or you or they feel like they can't be a part of this situation or circumstance any longer that you find yourself in. And it's mainly because of this energy, the Five of Swords here. There's something combative, there's something lose-lose about this. Um, and I do feel like this person here or you is rejecting this situation, no longer wanting to strive towards propping this up, staying in the situation now, the Queen of Pentacles could be reversed also or could have come out reversed also because it does feel like there's some sort of past energy in which someone was overgiving or someone didn't have the proper boundaries or someone may have been extremely manipulative. Um, this could have been you being involved with someone who was very greedy, um, not a very manipulative, um, uh, not very financially stable or something like that. It also could have been you who was in that energy, but I do feel like that's changing. Either you're releasing this person from your life or you're releasing this situation. It feels dominantly like you're releasing some sort of energies of being physically codependent on someone else, um, whether it's a specific person or it's just like overall. I do feel like the energy here is of pulling away from a situation that has been combative and desiring to be independent, stand on your own, um, and strive to achieve from there. Okay. I want to clarify this Five of Swords energy first. What's this Five of Swords for Pisces, please? Death is the first card. Okay. I really do feel like this is someone wanting to be more independent. 
Yes, we have death with the three of pentacles and the high priestess. Okay, overall energy is the seven of pentacles. All right, so we definitely have somebody here that is, um, I, I guess at this point, what's happening here is someone is, is tuning into their intuition or is starting to understand how their intuition may be in um, um, trying to speak to them or someone you may be just be um, I feel like Pisces you're just connecting to a higher source of wisdom a higher source of inspiration I do feel like there's a level of uncertainty here there is a level of unknown energy there's it, it's very similar to the star which is interesting because um, when I was checking the deck to see if everything was reversed or not i split the deck in one in one random place just to see what it would be and it was upright but it was the star and that energy did feel appropriate here um what i'm getting with this is you don't necessarily know how things are going to work out but you are channeling and or tuning into a higher source a higher power maybe your higher self um and striving to work on yourself here the three of pentacles is about it can be about self-mastery it also can be about teamwork um but the feeling here pisces is that this five of swords energy was i guess you being codependent on someone or someone you know someone connected to you close to you being codependent on you maybe and that's where the high priestess is coming in because there is a higher wisdom that's coming in and saying to you that you know this level of codependency is combative it's a lose-lose situation nobody really wins here um and with this queen of pentacles energy here you really you really may have been the provider in this situation um and you're realizing that that's not cool that's not cute that's not what you want to be doing or at least there's a strong feeling here of you just can't do that any longer okay um it's detrimental to you it is um depleting your resources Okay, for others of you, the Queen of Pentacles, especially since it came out reversed, it was an, and I feel like there's an energy here of understanding that, you know, you do have value, you do have something to provide, or at least you can develop something like that. And so that's, there, there's an energy here of wanting to be this independent, sovereign, um, financially stable, financially abundant, whatnot, whatever, Queen of Pentacles archetype, okay? And so with the Five of Swords reversed here, this is the moment or a moment where you are transforming out of that energy, death, okay, and are working on yourself, self-mastery, okay, building your finances, maybe even starting a job um, or, or, or uh, uh, starting a, a job as a, you know, working for yourself or as an entrepreneur, starting your own business in some way, okay, and it's definitely guided by your higher self okay or at least higher universal awareness and or energies also pisces this is you okay in the major arcana the high priestess does represent piscean energy so so with that said then with this you representing you or your archetype or your energy i feel like this is an energy of you coming into your own you coming into yourself okay you stepping into the truth of who you are honoring who you are at this time um desiring to do better for yourself desiring to present yourself better desire desiring to present yourself as the true you okay excellent oh and then i don't know if i said this to you but you have overall energy of the seven of pentacles here you know this month this seven of pentacles energy has been a pretty um dominant energy for a lot of the collective um because at this point we are getting to a, a level of where of awareness w within our lives where it's like okay our current circumstances or my current circumstances or the situation that i've been in how is this really serving me is this really serving me at all for you pisces there's a specific feeling of i'm not getting what i want or I'm not getting what I should be receiving in this situation. And there is, and this is where we're tying it back into the energies of a feeling like you, it's not that you don't necessarily want to be a part of the situation, whereas that may be very true, but it definitely feels like there's an energy of you just can't. It's, 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 um, it's, it's of disservice to you. Okay. There is a realization here and for some of you this does feel like it's a bit of a tough decision to make um it does feel like there, there may be some sort of attachments involved here and you're really having to 
really work hard or at least put in a great deal of effort to pull away from this situation or at least you've had to put forth a great deal of effort to pull yourself away to dig yourself out of this situation or dig yourself out of this hole okay all right now, um let's talk about the queen of pentacles here yeah what's this queen of pentacles energy for pisces The fool. Excellent. Starting a new life for yourself. Yep. Wow. And as I'm saying that, the page of wands comes out. Okay. What else for Pisces? Or clarifying this queen of pentacles. Anything else? Yes. Right there. With the devil. There's the codependency right there. Overall energy is the seven of cups. Sorry, guys. My allergies are bothering me this morning. Hold on a second. Okay, definitely taking a leap of faith out of what I heard is a codependent relationship or maybe just a codependent circumstance, all right? Clarifying this Queen of Pentacles here, you do have the Fool, the Page of Wands, and the Devil. So the Devil would represent uh, a codependent energy, a codependent situation, or at least something that's toxic, low vibrational, uh, detrimental to you there could this could be a situation in which your energy is literally being depleted okay you could be connected to a situation or a, a, you could be in a relationship with someone who is has been a bit of an energetic vampire for others of you i do feel like this is a common theme for you that you are facing at this moment and working through okay but there's definitely you're taking a leap of faith here all right and changing your alignment changing your tune changing the person that you have been changing the way that you associate with either this situation this connection this relationship or just people in general changing your personal alignment there's also a level of discovering your power i did also just hear your right to choose and that is connected to the devil energy here because as you are discovering your power discovering what it is you're truly made of honoring that power it is empowering you to choose something better for some of you you have been in a situation in which you felt like you had no choice and that's often what this devil energy will try to make you believe okay you see how those people are chained to him like that Th there is an energy here of believing or feeling like you are stuck you are chained to this situation and you're never going to be able to get out of it but that's exactly the type of mindset that this devil energy would want you to be in because that keeps you in a place to give your power over to that devil or over to that connection okay for some of you here, I am definitely picking up on you sending a message to someone that you have been connected to, whether this is, for some of you, this could be a parent. For others of you, this could be a romantic situation. It could maybe be a sibling, a family. I am kind of picking up on some sort of family energy. Maybe this is a spouse. Um, but I'm definitely getting a feeling of you changing your tune, uh, sending a message to this person or these people about who you are at this point, what it is you are, you are and are not going to accept, what it is you can and cannot accept any longer. Definitely, th this could really be a shock to some people, all right, or whomever this person is that you are desiring to sever a connection with or take a leap of faith from in a new way. Now, for others of you also, I don't necessarily feel like you are intending to end the relationship or intending to end the connection or situation, but there is the intention to change the dynamics of it so that it's less toxic, so that it's not so codependent. I don't necessarily know how that's going to go over with, this, with the person. Um, you know, it could result in the situation ending altogether, but that's neither here nor there. If that happens, then that's necessary. That's part of the process, you know. Okay. Let's clarify this Nine of Pentacles. What's this Nine of Pentacles for Pisces, please? The Ten of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, and the Lovers. Okay. Okay. 
and then we're back to the seven of pentacles again um okay so here you go here is that right to choose right there the lovers the lovers is about a choice all right the lovers is actually kind of a mirror image of the devil all right um but here in this with the lovers here you do have the right to choose okay and this and often this choice is being made in terms of what serves your highest good okay um so you have this, this is clarifying the nine of pentacles here, right? You have this with the 10 of pentacles and the five of cups. Um, with the 10 of pentacles, Pisces, I am feeling like there is an ending happening. Um, the 10 of the tens can represent completion. Okay. That's often what the number 10 represents. The nine represents an ending. Whereas then you move to the 10 and you have a completion. And I do feel like there is a long-standing situation and or relationship. Um, this could very well have to do with family members, but there is a long-standing situation, situationship that I do feel is coming to an end, that I'm getting that with that 10 of pentacles. I feel like you've reached the end of the road with this situation. Um, I also feel like there, especially with the five of cups, there is a feeling and or energy of un being unable to reach that ultimate goal that you are desiring to be in. Because also, because also, while the Ten of Pentacles can represent the ending or the completion really of a long-standing uh, project, goal, aspiration, or relationship or situation, the Ten of Pentacles would also could also represent the ultimate goal that you wish to achieve when you started out at the ace. That takes time, attention, energy to develop, okay? So I feel like here, what this really is saying is for you Pisces, I do feel like you're stepping into a level of independence and sovereignty. And either you're recognizing and or realizing that the situation, circumstance, and or relationship that you've been in is not conducive to your ultimate long-term goals. I feel like at this point, you're starting to realize the Seven of Pentacles as the overall energy here. You're starting to realize that you're not able to reach this goal, this completion, this ultimate reality, whatnot, this end game, whatnot, whatever, this end goal in the current circumstances. And thus, and that's where the five of cups comes in. That's the loss. That's the feeling of loss. Okay. And thus you have to make a decision here as to, or you are making a decision. And, and, and I honestly, Pisces, one of the strongest things that I'm feeling here is at this point, while you always have a choice in terms of what it is you would like to achieve in life, what your goal is here, you really don't, you don't have much of a choice because if you're going to reach that end goal, you've got to you've got to make a decision in terms of how, what path you're going to take to get there. And it feels like right now, the current path that you're on, or maybe the current path that you have been on, you're recognizing and or realizing that you cannot reach that end goal under the current circumstances. Pause. Okay, Pisces. So ultimately, this is a good thing. Um, but this is definitely where I feel like you're generating that energy you're gearing up to move forward um you're you're channeling the willpower you're channeling the self-belief you're cultivating these energies to start moving um i do feel like maybe some of you have been kind of stagnant in this energy for a while but at this point again seven of pentacles is your overall energy here uh, you're starting to realize you know what is and is not of the highest likeliness in the current situation Okay. And then you're saying to yourself, okay, but how do I get what it is that I want? Or how do I reach the ultimate goal that I'm looking for? And you're, you're, you're acting accordingly, deciding, making the appropriate decisions. And yes, for, there is a, definitely a strong energy here of, uh, I guess I want to call it reluctance. It's not the, it, it, for some of you, it's not that easy of a choice to make. You know, there is a bit of remorse or sadness, mourning. I am hearing regret, regretful energy. But even though, you, like I said earlier, you know, you always have a choice. 
but in terms of what it is you are look, really looking for or in terms of what actually needs to happen here, you don't have that much of a choice because the choice is either to go in the new direction, make these changes or to stay where you are. And for some of you, I feel like it's gotten to the point where you have a strong level of self-worth um, and self-love really to understand that I really, you really can't stay in this situation any longer. You gotta move forward, something's gotta give, okay? All right, closing message. What's the closing message for Pisces, please? Closing message for Pisces. Eight of Swords. Closing message for Pisces. The Chariot. And... The World. Overall energy, we're back to this Four of Cups again, okay? But your closing message here is the Eight of Swords, the Chariot, and the World. Um, and for some of you here, I feel like the universe has kind of backed you into a corner or you feel like you've been backed into a corner somehow. Um, the Eight of Swords is kind of reflecting that energy of having limited options. While you do have, ultimately you have a choice, f quite frankly, it feels like there is a there is a best choice and a not so good choice and the best choice i just it's hard to put this into words and this isn't usually what the eight of swords represents um but in this situation i feel like the eight of swords does represent that those feelings of i don't really have a choice because the chariot is here and the chariot is talking about moving forward in your best alignment going after what it is that you want um being really goal oriented climbing up the corporate ladder or just the business ladder or just you know in life and whatnot whatever being in alignment with your soul is what i'm hearing here and then you have the world the world is that ending that completion and you do have the fool here. So when um, in speaking of like the major arcana, you know, the world is the last card of the major arcana. So the world would represent the completion of um, a circumstance and or situation. And it's that energy of you ending that, stepping out of that one and stepping into an, a new one. And then from there, we circle back to the fool and the cycle starts over again. And you do have the fool here. The fool is clarifying this queen of pentacles energy, this energy, the levels of self-worth that you are feeling or are connected to or are in alignment with at this time. So in order for you to close out this cycle and move on, take the leap of faith in the next phase of your life in greater alignment with this queen of pentacles energy, there is a certain choice that you need to make. And yes, it does feel like there are limited options here. But, and, but these limited options, within these limited options, lies a, 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 a path or an option that puts you on, that best puts you on this path moving forward, okay? I do feel like the chariot energy is connected to this queen of pentacles. So, uh, so this really very much could be somebody here who is desiring to um, be more financially stable or start a new career path. Yeah, and so you're back to the Four of Cups, the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck as the overall energy for your closing message. This Four of Cups is also res uh, reflecting this Eight of Swords energy of having limited options. And, and, and what I'm feeling and hearing for you, Pisces, is there's really nothing left to do but to just move on. And that's what it looks like you're going to be doing here, okay? I'm sorry, guys. Um, let me, I'm just going to wrap this up. Thank you so much. The cats, the freaking cats. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. If you'd like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where I list the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I'll be more than happy to get you all hooked up. Um, and as always, I hope you guys have, have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye. <laughs>